hot. <clears throat> What's up pranksters? Welcome back. As you just heard, my alarm went off and that is one of the most annoying things I could hear in the morning. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys five pranks that you guys can set up on your family members or roommates that happen to use their phone as their alarm clock. So check it out. All right, pranksters, well, first of all, let me tell you that the phone we're gonna be using for today is gonna be an iPhone 7. So your victim might have an Android or a Windows phone or some kind of other phone, but if it happens to be a smartphone, then you're good to go. And for these pranks, guys, you're gonna have to sneak into your victim's room and get a hold of their phone. So for example, this first prank, you're gonna be activating multiple alarms for when they wake up. Because we all know that when we wake up, guys, first thing we do, what do we do? We hit the snooze button. Some of us turn it off, but then there's people that actually hit the snooze button, put their phone back where it was, and then they go back to sleep. And then eight or nine minutes, the phone starts to go off again. This is for those people that keep hitting the snooze button. So this is my friend's iPhone. And if it's locked, it doesn't matter because if it has a voice command feature, then you can activate the alarm without being required to have their passcode. So for example, I'm gonna tell Siri, Siri, wake me up at 7 a.m. Your alarm is set for 7 a.m. All right, cool. And then I'm gonna tell Siri again. Siri, wake me up at 7.01 a.m. I've set an alarm for 7.01 a.m. And then I'm gonna tell Siri again. Siri, wake me up at 7.02 a.m. Okay, I set an alarm for 7.02 a.m. So you can enable multiple alarms to go off consecutively one minute after another. So your victim might hit the snooze button at 7 a.m. but then the alarm is gonna go off at 7.01 a.m. So they'll probably turn that one off, hit the snooze button, and then the next alarm will go off a minute after. So you're just gonna annoy the hell out of them. Eventually they might catch on and they'll just be like, Siri, turn off all my alarms. Okay, all your alarms have been turned off. And that's how they fix the problem, but it's funny at first. And if you're across the room, you can hear their alarm keep going off and off. And this particular alarm is the most annoying one, which is the one I'll be using in this video. Oh, I hate it, but it's also the best one to wake up. Next, I'm gonna show you another way that you can annoy your roommate or family member in the morning. This next prank, again, you're gonna sneak into the room. They usually will have their phone on their nightstand because this is where they sleep, so they have easy access to their phone at night. So you sneak in very, very quietly, grab their phone. Since their alarm is already on for whatever time they wanna get up, you don't have to do much with the phone. All you guys do is put it inside the drawer on their nightstand, the top one. You're gonna slightly, slightly leave it open about an inch or so and then you get some tape and you gotta do this quietly again. And then you're gonna tape it on the drawer and attach it to the nightstand so it's hard to pull open, right guys? So yeah, it's still gonna sound very, very hollow when the alarm goes off, but at the same time, they'll wake up and they'll, they'll just uh, tap on their nightstand looking for their phone. Literally they know that the phone is already inside the drawer, so they're gonna struggle to pull it out. And from this end, since the tape is over here, it's gonna be hard for them to figure out what's wrong with the drawer, why isn't it opening? So it's just gonna annoy them guys, and it's gonna have to make them get up, which is something that a lot of people don't wanna do. So in a way, you're kinda helping them because a lot of people, all they do is hit the snooze button and then get back to sleep. But not this case, they have to get up. Now, another prank that guarantees that they have to get up is the following. So here's the next prank. I got my victim's phone right here, and then again, I got some tape. So what I'm gonna do, guys, since their alarm is already enabled, again, I don't have to touch it. All I gotta do is grab their phone, and I'm gonna tape it to the ceiling of the room right above where their bed is at. So they'll still be able to hear it, but they will not have access to it to turn it off in the morning. So let's do that right now. All right, so I'm just gonna tape it to the ceiling. Just like that. And then I'm gonna use another piece of tape so it does not fall because it falls and it breaks. I'm not gonna pay for it. <laughs> well, it's early in the morning now and your victim is still sleeping and the alarm is about to go off any second now. 
<laughs> that is so annoying. And then your victim's gonna be down here. Their alarm is up there, so they can't reach it. So they definitely, definitely have to get up in order to turn off that alarm. That is so annoying, isn't it, pranksters? That's them sleeping and they're like looking for their phone on their nightstand, but their phone's not there. Their phone is in the ceiling. So, yeah, it is very annoying, isn't it? <laughs> what I have here, guys, is a pencil holder. As you can see, it's a little case, it's plastic. And guess what? We're gonna stick your victim's phone inside this pencil box and then we're gonna tape it up. All right, so here's the phone and I'm gonna put it inside the pencil box, just like that, guys. And then I'm gonna grab some tape and this is a very sticky type of tape. I'm gonna slightly leave it open, but it's gonna be closed enough so that your victim can't have access to their phone. So I'm gonna put a couple of strips of tape on there so it'll be difficult and they're gonna have to struggle to be able to open up this pencil box. And then I'm just gonna leave the pencil box with the phone inside on their nightstand and they'll be asleep over there. And when they hear the alarm, they'll wake up and try to reach over to turn off that alarm, but it's gonna be almost impossible because the tape has closed it up pretty well. And yeah, they're just gonna struggle. And the worst time to be pranked is very early in the morning as you're about to see right now. <laughs> oh, I'll put my phone in here. Don't be wondering what happened. Why is there a phone inside this pencil box? But, you know, they're just gonna struggle to open it. I mean, if they're strong enough, they might be able to tear that tape. But yeah, the, the purpose of this prank is to piss them off very early in the morning. All right, so there's your victim's phone, guys. And for this last prank that I'm gonna show you, it's kind of similar to a prank I did with my iPhone a few months back. You're gonna need a rubber band like this one and you're gonna have to cut it in order to get it like this. Now, one end, you're gonna tie it to the iPhone. And since this iPhone already has a case, I'll easily be able to attach one end of this rubber band to it. At this point, it should look like this, guys. Now this other end, you're gonna attach it anywhere on the nightstand, but try to keep it away from the edge closest to your victim because you want them to reach over and grab their phone. And because they're gonna pull on it, guys, the rubber band is gonna pull back and it's uh, gonna keep the phone away from them. It's a very funny prank. All right, so I just placed a strip of tape on the corner right on the edge of this nightstand. So now the phone is attached to this nightstand through the rubber band and your victim's gonna be sleeping right over there. So your victim is gonna hear the alarm go off and they'll have to reach over, kind of struggle to get to their phone, which they'll have access to it. But when they pull on it, guys, like this, the phone is gonna pull back, just like that. And the phone might seem like it's gonna fall down, but of course the rubber band will keep it from falling to the ground. So again, they'll pull on it. <laughs> And here's the thing guys, the alarm is gonna be going off. So in order for them to turn off this alarm, they're gonna have to get up because the phone is gonna be over here and they're gonna be over there. <laughs> See, because they will not expect that the phone is gonna be tied to a rubber band. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious, isn't it? And this is one of the best pranks that you guys can do on someone you share a room with. And there you guys have it. Five pranks that you guys can set up on somebody that uses their phone as an alarm to wake up in the morning. It could be a family member or a roommate. It doesn't matter. Anybody will fall for these pranks, especially early in the morning. And you know, the thing about pranks early in the morning is that they're horrible. Nobody wants to start off the day with a prank, right? <laughs> That's why morning pranks are the best, especially on April Fool's Day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on your notifications because guess what? In one of my upcoming videos, I'll be announcing the winner of the PS4 that I'm giving away. Remember, I'm giving away a PlayStation 4, so you might be the winner and you might miss out. So don't forget, turn on your notifications so you know if you won or not. So I'll be going back to sleep, but I wanted to thank you guys so much for coming over and watching this video. Thank you guys for the support and I will see you guys in my next video. So I'm gonna go for this sauce because this is my favorite. I'm just gonna pour some onto it. This is what will happen when your victim opens a pizza box.
So his first instinct will be to grab it and this is what will happen. As you can see, it's uh, no fun. Lay the lollipop on the surface and take your hammer and just hit it till it breaks. Oh, look at all those cracks. Yep. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is place this on your friend's new iPhone. This is what's gonna happen. Whoa, <laughs> you tell him, hey bro, drop your phone accidentally and make sure he sees it and he's gonna rush real quick and try to get it out. <laughs> 